How's it going everyone? Chris back with another video. Today we're going to be checking out two cases from SUP or Soup case for the Pixel 3a XL. Now I've been using this for quite a while now since its launch and I've been using just a basic clear TPU case and it's time to change that out. It's been doing me well. It's thin and I have a video on that if you want to check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. But thanks to Subcase for sending these over for me to check out here for you today. You can pick both uh, these variants up on Amazon. I'll also leave links to those. So we have two different styles of cases. We have the Unicorn Beetle Pro here on the right, and then we have the Unicorn Beetle Style on the left, which is a more thin uh, case, as you can tell from the actual sheer size of the boxes. Let's go ahead and start with the style over here. It comes in two different colors. We have like a navy blue, which I have here, which we're gonna be opening. And then there's also a black and gray. So the style retails for about 13 bucks. Um, so here we have the case itself. And this is pretty nice actually. We have hard plastic on the back. It has a plastic a protective that you peel off first. So we'll do that in just a second. We have a nice kind of like smooth, soft kind of uh, TP, not TPU, but rubbery uh, sides. So there is some drop protection there. And then we have this dual color finish with SUP or suitcase, not sure the actual pronunciation on it, um, with this lighter blue there. Actually looks quite nice and it feels good. Um, so let's go ahead and actually peel this plastic bit off at the bottom. So you have all your standard cutouts for your charging port, your speaker grill, you have nothing on the left side, you have your headphone jack hold, your mic hold, your fingerprint scanner, and your camera. And then also we have our actual buttons on the right hand side. You just wanna wipe down your phone real quick before putting it in because if there's any dirt or anything inside on your phone, it's just gonna be trapped in the case. So you wanna go ahead and just slide this buttons in first and there you have it. So we have our power button up here at top which is this like ribbed kind of texture. And then we have our volume up and down with just very slight uh, indentations there separated by these lines. Now I wish the, the volume buttons were maybe more distinguishable um, from the regular case because it kind of makes it more difficult now to, at least I feel like to possibly find where the volume buttons are. But on the back we have the fingerprint scanner which is centered perfectly and we have our cutout for the flash and the camera which actually does a nice job in protecting it there's ample um, drop protection there in terms of depth so this back part is hard acrylic uh, plastic then we have this nice accent color which actually goes really nice with this purplish color here that we have up front we do have a, a lip i am using a tempered glass screen protector which i have a video on that as well you can check it out here but yeah, so we have front nice drop protection if you ever need to, if you ever drop it. And then we have our ample cutouts at the bottom. Let's go ahead now and check out the black. So if you prefer a black case, they make one as well. So here it is. And there you go. There is the black and like the gray finish here, the accent. I'm not a fan of black cases. I prefer something that more accents the uh, the phone color itself. But yeah, which one would you uh, pick up yourself? So that's the the style variant. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to the Beetle Pro. All right, so the Beetle Pro here is definitely a much more rugged case, um, which I'll be showing off here. We have two different colors. We have this blue and we also have a black one. Nope, actually this is white. So this is the black and blue and this is the white and gray. So this is actually a clip type uh, case. So you can actually clip this onto your pants or whatever you wanna have it, for example, um, which is gonna be good. So if you do construction or any sort of outside work, um, this is gonna be really great for you to be able to conveniently have this buckled onto your jeans or your belt strap, that sort of thing and it clicks into place there. Now what this does also offer is a built-in plastic screen protector up front. This is again, super rugged. We have a really thick uh, outer like TPU rubber uh, 
casing. And then we have this hard plastic backing around the camera and this hard plastic piece that goes around the front for the bezel. Um, so this isn't gonna be a waterproof case or any, anything like that by any means, um, but this is going to add, I would say, a considerable amount of dust um, and kind of like particle resistance. Um, so as you can see, the rubber piece just kind of pulls away, just like that. And then you also have your a port plug basically for your headphone and then also for your charging uh, port as well. So it keeps any dust, dirt out of those ports, which is really good to help increase the longevity. So here we can see real quick, basically instructions on how to install the phone in the case. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We'll start with the, the white one here. And there is, make sure you peel the plastic pieces off. Ideally you want to do this in a clean environment and also clean off your screen because that way it'll at least keep any particles out of the, uh, the screen inside. So we can see that the buttons are going to be positioned inside here. And then this goes right in the place just like such. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is actually just make sure around the edges it is seated properly, just like that. And there you have it. So we have really nice access to the fingerprint scanner in the back. So this kind of like descends down to the fingerprint scanner, um, which makes it easy to find and easy to position, just like that. And right now, as you saw just a moment ago, I do have a tempered glass screen protector on here. So with this plastic one in front of it, um, you are gonna get basically double protection in that way. Um, so this plastic, yes, it's gonna scratch, um, but it's gonna also keep dust and other particles, dirt um, from getting on the screen, potentially like cracking it. Uh, this is a really thick case. Um, this plugs nicely right there and easily lifts off to give you access. All your ports are still accessible. The power volume buttons are still clicky as well, and that's nice to see. Your camera is not uh, inhibited in any way, neither is your speaker earpiece up there. And then basically what happens is, all right, so it sits just like that, and then has a nice little clasp clamp that you just lift off and it comes out. It's pretty easy to install. I was worried that the power, the volume buttons might be pressed, but that doesn't seem to be the case. It's not putting enough pressure to accidentally press those or anything like that. And then a nice, real strong spring-loaded clamp right here for your belt or whatever you're mounting this on. So technically, if you really wanted to, you can mount it like this. Let's say you're working or something like that and you have something you could attach this to. You could hang this onto something and basically be playing your music just like this and it'll be perfectly fine. And then you have your blue one. Um, basically it's all the same. We have blue instead, accents instead of white. So you know, I wonder how the, the gray and the blue might look. Anyways, and then you have really hard plastic uh, here holder, essentially a belt clip holder that's nice and sturdy. That's not going to be going anywhere. This is going to be perfectly protected. Again, this is not waterproof, but nice drop gray protection if you're doing any sort of outside work or anything like that. If you guys have any questions on either of these cases, the style or the, the pro here, let me know in the comments below. I'll leave all the links in the description where you can pick these up. So we have the pro starting at about 20 bucks and then we have the style, which is about 13. So depending on what you're needing or what you want, if you want more protection, then you're gonna to wanna to go with the pro. So if you want to show off your phone, the color, if you have a skin, for example, or in just wanna be able to have a nice stylish thin case, then you can pick up the style here also. But either way, either of these options are gonna be great for the Pixel 3a and the 3a XL. Let me know in the comments which you prefer. If you have questions, as always, I'm here to help. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.